This is a rock. Two and one. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, right? That means set your heart, your mind, your, your, your love towards righteousness, right? And constantly endure. That means to push forward, right? And endure the suffering, man. Uh, endure that affliction and that adversity. Why? Because it makes us perfect. You know, it perfects us, man. Like gold in the fire. It says, make not haste in time of trouble. See? Make not haste in time of trouble. In time of trouble. And wait on the Lord. You never know. He might bless you with spiritual power, man, uh, real soon. And this is beyond all the regular everyday shit. You know, like, make not haste in time of trouble, meaning don't go out and fucking rob somebody when you need some goddamn money. But this is, this is, this is more towards the time we're stepping into, man. You know? Uh, he said, be as uh, pilgrims upon the earth. But just know in your heart and in your spirit and let him be as a little sanctuary unto you. You know, and you'll be carrying him with you. And, and once the internet shut down and the phones, we'll be the, and, and the, uh, you ain't going to have time to sit down and read the Bible. So we'll be the only thing that's bearing this truth on the earth. And uh, he says, shall I find faith on the earth? Kind, yes, he will. Confidence. Verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. See, you must have been acceptable from the beginning. The first of your line, the first, the one that helped create this this whole thing with your house, All right? It's an acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, they take a lot of faith and confidence to be able to be um, put in that fire. You know, in that oven, a oven. We see it in the book, but if it was a, you wouldn't step in your fucking, you wouldn't put your goddamn arm. In the damn oven in your kitchen. Let alone step into the motherfucker and ball up in there. Shh. That's gonna take some faith, man. So you better pray. We all gotta pray and we gotta believe. And we we gotta we gotta know and we gotta look at the ways of old and, and the people of old that believed. You know. It says believe in there you go. It says for gold is tried in the fire. And that way he says, um, uh, the elect men shall be as um, gold in that day. Gold of Ophir. You know, pure gold in that day. And the elect men are going to be prized as gold. And it says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear Yahweh Shai, yeah, uh, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. Hey, like, wait for his mercy, man. Don't start saying, oh, I fucked up. You know, just like during the time of Joshua, he said, yo, y'all still went off, but still praise the Lord. Even though you about to get judged, you scoffers, all you people out there that's fucking up, even though y'all, you may get judged real soon, or you're being judged by, um, blaspheming the word. That's judgment. That shows your judgment that you uh, stumbling block been placed at, at your table. That you stumble over the word and have no morals and no character and no faith. Because faith isn't just um, overcoming obstacles. Faith is also loving your brothers and your sisters and uh, your children. I Meaning keeping the laws towards them. All right? The laws of Yahweh. By Hashem, I was shy, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And keeping the laws towards our Father and towards Yahweh Shai and towards yourself. All right? That's where faith is at. And faith is um, renewing yourself, being able to, to die daily, to be able 
for you to decrease and your house shot to increase. For you not to um, shit on the brother or to fucking try to put people under you and shit. Now I ain't talking about the apostles. I'm talking about these, these new motherfuckers. This ain't, um, I seen the brother Hawaii uh, videos. And it's not towards him. I'm talking about some other shit I know about. Like some other motherfuckers, man. You know, we all got to treat each other right, man. Just because you're in this truth, that don't make somebody your fucking property. It says not as being lords over them, but as being examples of the believers. And the believer is somebody that would be willing to wash his brother's feet and to anoint that path. You know what I'm saying? Not no homo shit. I'm talking about in, in the spiritual sense, man. All right. Verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see. All right, so you got to focus on that. We got to look at the generations of old and see, man. See it in our minds. The same way it was a prophecy back then. When we see it in our mind, we're seeing a, a past time prophecy that, that already passed. So you got to see it as it's written. You know? And believe it. And did ever any trust in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and was confounded? And did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For Yahweh Shai is full of compassion and mercy, mercy long suffering, and very pitiful and forgiveth sins. Right? Because the Most High Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai. The power to forgive sins. Not the fucking Pope. The Edomite dope. <laughs> you know? And faint hands in the sinner that go of two ways. Oh, it's lucky. Um, verse 11. For Yah Yahweh Shai is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Look at that adversity and affliction again. Verse 12. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go of two ways. Right, man. So if you're talking this good talk, but you live in the life of fucking wickedness, we all slip from time to time. But if, you know, you're treating your brother like shit, you know, you're doing some wicked shit out here, man. You know what I mean? And, um, and the main thing is doctrine. You know what I'm saying? If you if, uh, out of one faucet can't cannot come, uh, it be, it's wrong for two uh, good and bad water to come out of the same faucet, man. You're a double-minded person. Either gotta be one truth or not at all, man. You can't watch the positive and try to make up your own shit and twist twist it and tweak it to a fit. Man, listen, man. One day you're saying Yahweh, the next couple of years later you're saying some of the other crazy ass names. Corny, man. It says, Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go of two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. That's talking to this dude, Yashar, whoever that guy's name is that I saw, man. Uh, all us. All us I don't even know this cat. All I saw was him doing a video saying, I'm out of here. I'm done with the whole Israelite thing. <laughs> that means you faint-hearted, man, weak-minded. To fall victim to a guy like um, that guy, uh, Avenger, to follow some shit like that and to join a bandwagon and then try to jump off and talk shit about him too. That shows y'all just weak-minded, man. Y'all following everything. Fuck around be a Muslim or some shit next. Look at you, man. You're out there in the world now, man. You know what I mean? Wearing cheap designer glasses. Sporting them. Hey, I wear them too, but I ain't sporting them like you. Uh, whoever that dude Yashar is, man. All over the place, man. One day you're making a video with questions. Next time you're making a video saying he quit. Next time you're making a video about Avenger. Then he's saying fuck GMS. Then he's saying, man, this dude is all over the place. He probably going to be back. I wouldn't doubt it. 
on that boomerang shit. It says, uh, therefore shall he not be defended. Right, the most high is not gonna defend you, dude. He's not gonna defend you, man. You, you none of y'all, the, the boy Avenger, all these other camps, man, that's, that's been going at the elders this whole time. Why would y'all do that, man? Y'all should just chill and just sat back and thought about it for a minute. It just did your work. How could you make money off of scoffing? How you make money at, or focus on likes and views or start a whole fucking camp against the apostles that's it calling them rapists calling me a rapist shit i'm part of gms calling us rapists man all of us got children and, and daughters and shit man and nobody we ain't catching no fucking cases out here taking no goddamn stink ass pussy out here in america oh, most of us fly as shit anyway we can get a bitch if we want to but it's just we the spirit that's on is is not in agreement with these hoes, so we bypass them and we treat the word as our women, women or woman, right? We treat the word as our sister, as our mother, as our aunt. We treat our brothers as our mother, which would be our, uh, our comforters, right? Because they bear the word, so we can go to them and counsel. You know, we treat our brothers as our um, brother. We treat our brothers as our sister, right? Right, because they bear the word, they bear the wisdom. The same way you should, and I, I should, you know? All right, this is um getting kind of dark, man. Hopefully I can still see my black ass. All right, let me get Matthew 6 and uh, 20. All right, this is Matthew 6 and 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. So is that what we're doing right now, man? And look at look, look at that. That look hot, too. That in the background right there. You see that, that cloud, man? That shit look crazy. Sun going down, man. Hopefully I can get a little more light real quick. But anyway. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt. And where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? Where Esau can't take it from you, man. They want to. That's why they're trying to go out to the heavens. That's why they're praying against you. That's why they they praying to the devil against you. That's why they uh setting up traps, you know, to try to stop you, man. But they can't. They can't stop the elect. It says, for where your treasure, uh, where neither moth nor rust do do of corrupt like these worldly riches oh y'all got that money the dollars you know um that shit is corrupted man you know it's corrupted how you got it is corrupted and the fact that you got it is corrupted the fact and it is corrupted you know what i'm saying it's rotten and the system of it is corrupted it's fallen it's a failed system man it's a de facto so um it says, verse, um, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right? So where your treasure is, that's where your mind is, man. So if you set your treasures in heaven, you know, everything that you treasure, your, your woman is in heaven, which is the word. Your future is in heaven. Your, your, your riches, your money, which is wisdom, your work, every, everything should be um, godly, which is heavenly. Right. Um, the light of the body is the eye, right? meaning your mind. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Right. Just like he told Peter when he was walking on that water, he said, yo, you know, hey, man, believe. And as soon as Peter doubted just a little bit, he slipped. And your house shot caught him. So if your mind slips just a little bit, your house shot still might catch you because your spirit prays for you, right? The spirit prays for you, but what spirit is within you? The spirit of your house shot. So that's that spirit that's praying for you even when you can't. You know, um, cause the elect um, shall not fall, man. Shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. It's already set in stone for them to be saved. 
and be drawn and pulled through this course called life, man, called America, or hell, really. All right. It says, uh, But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness, right? Not like darkness fucking car. It's dark as shit in here right now. Let me see. There you go. All right. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, man? So you people like IUIC or Esau, these all these heathens and two thirds, y'all are increasing in wickedness and darkness is growing in you like Dark Vader off the fucking new Star Wars. When we said the darkness is so, it's like light. <laughs> that darkness increasing in y'all so much that it's like light to y'all. You know what I mean? The um, the bottom is looking like up. But this light, the light that we have is the true light, the light of Yahweh, you know, which is Yahweh Shah, man. I, um, so if you doubt a little bit, you know, if, if, if you got a little bit of leaven, the whole lump going to leaven. Either if you, if you warm, the most high going to make you cold. Even if it ain't yet, if you think you're doing something, you think you, you, you know, you're still doing the work. But you're scoffing at the elders, or you're treating your people like shit, your brothers in the truth like shit behind closed doors, or or you selling out. Man, listen, man. You in you in the spirit of derision. You in the spirit of derision. You gotta, you know, you gotta pray. The Most High allows you to see it, and wipe that uh, shit out your eyes so you can fucking see clearly. Right, like a baby, when a baby first born, you gotta wipe their fucking eyes. You know, get all that gunk out their shit. That's how y'all motherfuckers is. That's how we were. But for some reason, you know, a lot of y'all still born. All right, it says, uh, but uh, verse 24. No man can serve two masters for their, for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Therefore, right, Mammon is riches. You know, uh, um, you know, in these times, of course, we know it's a, uh, is uh, uh, easier for a man uh, to stick a camel through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to make it into the kingdom, you know? So if you're serving riches and Mammon, you're not going to be out there doing the work. There's going to be a lot of confusion, man. We already know all that shit. We ain't about to go into that. So therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Right? So everything that you um, you lose, you lose coming up soon, you can get it all back in the kingdom, man. Just like Job. You know, everything was taken from him, but the Lord gave it back to him. You know, you got to know these things. My bad, I'm a little distracted for these fucking Edomites. They see a black man, so-called black man sitting in the car. It's like, yo, if you're nervous, just go about your goddamn business. Why would you want to draw the fucking line to you? You know what I'm saying? It just don't make sense. Anybody even worrying about they fucking pale ass? All right, it says, um, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. Right, uh, those that seek to save their life shall lose it, man, for Yahweh Shah's sake. In this time, we walked away from the society. A lot of us got gifts and talents. You know, you try to maneuver here and there, try to make a little money if, if, if you can, but but in the bulk of, in, 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 in the, the majority of the sense, we walked away from this society, man, you know. And in this time to come, 
You're not going to seek to save your life. Just, hey, we, we dead out here, man. We dead. This body is dead. The only thing alive is the spirit that's within us. And the spirit can needs to leave. The spirit needs to, to, to separate from this fucking place. So, so when this shit goes down, you ain't going to eat no pork. You ain't going to fucking run to the military to, to get the damn chip, RFID chip. You know, you ain't going to kill your brother to take his fucking woman when you realize there ain't no goddamn women around or some shit. You ain't going to rape somebody's goddamn daughter or, or start worshiping false deities or doubting the most high. You know what I'm saying? He going to show his miracles. He says in these times, so we see signs and wonders because he's setting that standard of miracles back on the earth again. You know, right, it says, um, uh, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, right? If the water runs out, you know, or, or people talk about doing shit to us, man. The most high controls everything, man. He taking control of the wheel. Uh, he giving it to you. How was I mean, uh, what ye shall put on? Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Man, so that's that's what we got coming to us. Our Father, our nurturer. We know where our blessings are coming from now. He already been blessing us. Just like in the book of Hosea. He's like, yo, I'm the one that that was giving y'all corn and wine. And y'all was fucking worshiping false deities with it. But I'm the one that gave it to y'all. Ain't that some shit? So he always, he's the one that, he, he gave riches to fucking Pharaoh, which is not riches, man. It's just fucking material being passed around. We have the real riches, which is wisdom. Unattainable living substance. Better than the air. Whoo. <laughs> You know, which is wisdom, man. Divine revelation from Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Shah. It says, verse 28, and why take, oh wait, uh, 27, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto your stature? By taking thought. So that means someday in the kingdom, when we had them new bodies, See, we may not be able to do that with these bodies. Even if we have spiritual power, we may not be able to increase ourselves. But when we have new bodies in the kingdom, who who knows what we're gonna be able to do? When, the, when just with a thought, be able to increase our body. The Most High can increase us now, but we, you know we don't have that ability, right? Uh, anything's possible, you know what I'm saying? But it says. Uh, so someday by taking thought we'll be able to add add inches unto our stature, man. Or decrease. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that right, because we we in bondage. That's the only reason we gotta work. You know, under the curses of Adam. But now we're trying to we're under the the, the blessing and hope and mercy. Of your house shy. So it's a difference, man. You know, in the uh, someday we won't have to work for it. These heathens will have to work. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these, right? Your house was talking about itself at the time. <laughs> He's talking about Solomon. You know. Because Solomon, Yahusha was uh, Solomon in reincarnation, man. It says, verse 30. Wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Right, and that oven is talking about, you know, it's, of course it's talking about the oven like you eat, but I'm talking about you cook and eat. But he's talking about the real oven, which is the, the, that furnace, that nuclear fire. <laughs> All right, it says, uh, 
cast into the oven shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little, O ye of little faith. So this whole thing is about faith, man. Alright. Alright, this is faith, man. Um, um lack of faith. It says incre in incredulous, incredulous. Um lacking confidence, right? Because the root word of confidence is faith. Of little faith, trusting too little, man. We gotta trust he says be still and know that he is Yahweh, that he is God, power. Alright, Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bashimel Shah. Alright, um with that man, I'm gonna pause this part of the lesson, man. I'm, you know, it's getting kinda uh, dark out here with fucking mosquitoes and shit, so I'm gonna say, um you know, um this is the first part of the lesson, man, dealing with faith. I'm gonna say Shalom.